Now, back home, the Senate Committee on Health now says it will push for more funding to the health sector in order to avert a crisis at the government health facilities. The move came as health workers' unions and associations decried understaffing and infrastructures as a major challenge in the performance of their mandate. The committee was receiving submissions by health workers and associations on the rising cases of medical negligence of patients at public hospitals. Health workers' unions and associations were at pains on Monday to dissociate themselves from rising cases of deaths attributed to patient negligence in public hospitals. They feel that you're already treated, yet you're very sick. You're going to... Appearing before Senate Committee on Health, the union sought to explain the negligence part that led to the death of baby Travis Maina and Lady Maureen Onyango. The most thing that we take pride on is to actually salvage a life and give hope for that person to continue living. So no one celebrate that. But where there is real up so that we are able to make changes, we must accept that indeed the, the critical condition that this baby had also called for an immediate action. The reason they couldn't take her out of theater, and this is sad that we are in this kind of a situation 60 years after independence, was because there was no, uh, there's no ICU at Mamadisi. There's no ventilator. So actually they converted theater to be an ICU. The unions pleaded with the committee not to crucify health workers, but instead streamline the health care system that has led to system failure. Some of the level files that we actually do have uh, do not measure up to the level files that we actually are supposed to be having. I think it's about time that uh, we improve the level files and especially the high capacity level files like the PGH and the others. That level of a bed, the machines which are there, you may not likely get in a normal bed when you are admitted inside Kenyatta unless you are referred to an ICU. Among the recommendations tabled by the unions are emergency fund to cater for emergency cases for patients who cannot afford referral fees, a health service commission, strengthening of referral hospitals, among others. The other option is to have the budget for the counties which at that 15% to be doubled. And that 15% of it now that goes to healthcare as per the budget declaration. The Senate committee will now deliberate the report before tabling it in the house for action. Ruth Wamboy for Prime Edition.